Men believe they possess unbelievable power, don't they? And when these people feel as if their power has no bounds, they act accordingly. And any ideology or concept that does not fit their parameters is a threat. A threat to what they perceive is superior. Themselves. The world is full of men like this. You know I had a dream last night? I didn't think we could. Who told you that? The world. This is a clean slate. This is my gift to the world. This is a chance for a new beginning. A chance for something better. For people who are better. And they are not human. Your boss has something I need. Where is he? Good luck. I don't need luck, sweetheart. He's not here. God fucking damn it. Shocker. Put your faith in Daniel Lewis and get burned. Liam, will you shut the fuck up? Oh, you want to get tough, you fucking idiot? Easy, killers. Relax. Sorry, you did good, man. Huh? Really? Because he's... he's not here. So what the fuck? Yeah, but he was. This seems to me like it's starting to become a bit of a common thing, doesn't it? You've made some mistakes, several. Have I? Oh, I don't know, uh, failed the Dharma raid, a suspect you got away, or shit, maybe it was never even there, who knows? Who cares, right? All you got me was two dead nobodies and a couple bags of coke. For fuck's sake, the local PD could have done that. So why ask us then? Accountability's a two-way street, bud. <laughs> we went off your intel. This is on all of us. And it's not how everyone else is gonna see it. Well, as long as you know how it is, that's good enough for me, I guess. That's good enough for you? Do you hear yourself? W what do you want from me? To quit. To fucking quit. You're not fit for this job, a human's job, and you never will be. You botched a fucking walkthrough operation. From information you gave us, you fucking idiot. We did everything this division asked us to do. It's what we always do. And this division does not give you its thanks. And it never will. You're alone. And you always will be. Get the fuck out. You, uh... You really have your mind made up about these people, don't you? For fuck's sake, spare me the lecture, all right? Where does this go for you? Like, what's your, what's your goal here? What do you want? I want Nest to be occupied by capable human beings. Not some lowbrow scum not from this earth. <laughs> okay. Sir, this is their home. They're from here. I think the difference might be in the mind, maybe. They were made here by some unknown dumbass. Wherever they are now, I bet they don't even look at them, much less want to integrate with them. You hate these people. They're not people. 
Well, these people, they save lives all the time. They save the lives of people who think just like you, and they do it without hesitation. So perhaps they deserve a little more. You know, the difference between you and them is not much, Daniel. They're just artificial and genuine at the same time, which is a hell of a lot more than what anyone can say about you, so. Why are we doing this? We didn't ask to be here. Nobody asked to be here. Well, I don't see anybody else getting blamed for it except us. Jesus Christ, Liam. We're not the only people with problems. Well, I'm talking about us right now. Get your fucking hand out of my face. They hate us, Esme. They are saying it to our faces, and I'm supposed to just take a bullet for them? In what world is that rational? They don't want us here. Hmm, and the human who made us? Yeah, a human no one knows. A human that you and I have never met or talked to. Someone that's never helped us, never advocated for us. A human that does not give a fuck about you, me, or any of our kind. We're fighting a war for people that probably hope will die during it. Think of your sister, Esme. What if they never let you see her again? What then? This, huh? You always do keep some of the good stuff around. You have some. Nah, I'm alright. You might want some. That bad, huh? How come you never call me with any good news? If I'm not calling you, that is the good news. Okay, well, here I am. The house you have over on Grand got hit up last night. They cooking at this house? Nah, it's a middleman spot. They only keep inventory there. Good news is, they were between shipments, so they didn't have much stuff there. Well, what's the bad news? All of the guys working there are dead. I'm telling you, man. Cops been watching that house all week. Cops killed him? It wasn't the cops that killed him. See, things didn't add up. Two of the guys that were dead over there weren't ours. News called it a gang shooting. I didn't buy that. So I called around and it was some government unit called Nest. Some anti-terrorism group. Completely underground. Even the people who work in it don't even exist. If they were all blacked out, how's anyone know about it? And why the fuck did they hit one of my houses? People barely know anything, but they do know about them. See, they were part of that law from a few years ago permitting the Dagans to join the special forces groups. And apparently there was a terrorist hanging around the house. One of our guys? No, there were two dead guys that didn't belong to us. Somebody else was there. Somebody, somebody they wanted. Well, fuck. We need to find this bastard, because the last thing I need is some government group running around my business fucking things up. Well, you won't have to look far. Who the fuck are you? Oh, is this a bad time? Uh, 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 now, I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot, so why don't we all relax? Tempers can be explosive. Excellent. So, yes, 
It was me who broke into your house and killed your guys. Oh, don't act mad. You didn't even know their names. Look, I came here because I want to talk business. Business, I think that would be good for you. For all of you. What fucking business of yours would we want? For you, I think it's less of a want and more of a necessity. See, I can offer you protection. Protection? I don't need any fucking protection from you, man. Oh, really? Well, I'm a bit of a renaissance man, I would say. Like you, I have a diversified nature. You see, I've been many places. I've met many people. And I've seen wicked things. Things you would not believe. And I've seen men like you. Men who do not care of the consequences they reap so long as their ceilings are plated in gold and their bank accounts flooded with blood money. I'm a man of my word. And when I say you need my protection, you need it. There's a storm coming. And it's gonna happen with or without your participation. But your assets and your infrastructure, see, they would be of great convenience to me. I'm also a man of punctuality and efficiency. And you, my friend, are a logistical strategy. So if we do agree here today to engage in business, I will see to it that you and your hateful group of dogs are spared when judgment day arrives. You know, I've seen some things too. Met some fucked up people. But today, I met a fucking idiot. Go fuck yourself. All right. Oh shit! <laughs> You are a man not worthy of salvation, and I am your Messiah. I offer you peace, and you spit in my face the same way you spit in the face of those beneath you. Money and power, these things do not make you strong, they make you comfortable. I come from nothing. I've seen men kill each other over food. Can you imagine that? Starving, out in the cold, while members of high society indulge in excess while ostracizing those different from them. I'm not a vengeful man. I'm a judgment of character. And bad character? That I do not forgive. That I do not forgive. Why do you wear that? This? Yeah. I don't know, I guess I don't really have a good reason. Someone special gave it to me a long time ago. I've had it ever since. It's been good luck to me. My brother. Ah, yeah. Forgot, you don't know anything about that, do you? I know enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we all have our things. Oh yeah? What's my thing then?
That's what I thought. You like art. Yeah, you like to draw, paint. How do you know that? Lucky guess. Lucky guess? Yeah. You're an idiot. You know that, right? Whatever. Do you mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. What did you do before this? Well, I guess it would depend on who you ask, but... Some people would probably say I did too much. Some people would say I didn't do enough. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Someday it will. Okay, sure. Well, you got any family? Brother, that's it. What's his name? Maxim. It's a nice name. All right, get on with it. Okay. A few nights ago, a head of a prominent crime family and a bunch of his guys got killed in their home. Now normally that wouldn't be much of interest to us, but it just so happens that the house we hit the other day, that's his. So the guy we're looking for, you think he killed him? Oh, I know he did. All right, well look, Ness is keeping everyone in the dark about who this guy is, but I know you know. I'm not going after a guy if I don't know who he is or what he did, I'm sorry. His name is Victor. Victor Markov. He was born in Croatia, moved to America when he was five, then to Europe when he was 18, and studied chemistry at Oxford. Okay, that's who he is, but what did he do? After the persistent mistreatment of your kind, he became radicalized. Now he is an intercontinental terrorist. So they wouldn't tell us because they thought we were going to have a conflict of interest, didn't they? Has he killed innocent people? Some, yeah. Are you kidding me? They really thought we were gonna be okay with that? Fuck them. God, okay. What did he want with the mafia then? Money, it's always money. But not in the way you think. It's more like funding. Funding for what? More funding, I guess. What? There's a party that happens in South Florida every year. It's a deep pockets kind of thing. Whatever. But at this party, there's a high stakes poker game, right? Back room, really exclusive. Now, we ran background on all the players playing. One of the guys at the table doesn't exist, it's a fake name. That's our guy. Now, Markov stole $10 million from these mob dudes, and the buy in's 10 mil. Now you can flip that 10 mil and turn it into something a lot bigger, further his cause. So if you think he's gonna be there, why don't you just smoke him out? Because one of his guys got on a plane for South America the other day. Because of that, we think there's something simultaneously planned. Now if we all show up in one place, probably can't react to something happening in another. Do you a favor for me? Get that to Esme. It's a contact she needs to meet outside of Miami. She's going there alone. No, not exactly. Not exactly? Fuck off, she is. We're just gonna sit her pretty face at a poker table sitting right across from supposedly the most dangerous man we know of with no backup? They don't wanna let her decide how she's gonna live, but they're gonna pick where she might die? You know, before I started doing this, I thought I'd draw for a living. 
because when you draw, there's no noise. It's just space. You can make anything, go anywhere in the world. You can be you. That's all I've ever wanted, you know, to be me. I think that's all anyone's ever wanted. So why don't they let me? Are you sure they're the ones stopping you? Look, people can't empathize with what they don't understand, and these people, they don't, they don't know you. They'll never know how difficult your life has been. They'll never feel the pain you felt. I won't either. But these people, and me, everyone else, we don't define you. Only you can do that. So, you should keep drawing. You know, like you said, be you. She was a gift. So, you're the uh, nest asset. Yeah. So perhaps you're here to kill me, huh? I'm afraid not. It's too bad. I was hoping to take the day off. But I hear you're interested in a specific creation insurgent. I assume you know he's a man of some proficiency, world-renowned chemist on a path to self-righteousness, dangerous combination. It's Imperative that you know this man's ability to avoid any conflict at this gathering that yields civilian casualties. Yeah, because I thought I'd introduce myself as an undercover AI. Listen, it's juvenile, but you've never met a man like this. The agent from the Adarmo? That was augmented carbon monoxide. That's twice the lethality of resolute CO. Minimal amounts within confined structures can affect occupants within a much shorter window. We can't combat that. Not on a large scale level. Well, that's very reassuring. Of course it is. You're a reassurance. To gamble the fate of global security on how will I play a game. You think you're playing? I won't be. Do you have $10 million? No. Yeah, neither do I. So no, you won't be playing poker. Come with me. What do you do here, exactly? Well, Nest's main priority wasn't always counterterrorism. Originally, there was a technical division focused more on research for renewable energies, genomics, agriculture, engineering. I oversaw those projects, but war makes money. So war is the focus. So now we mainly do weapons development and operation strategies. I just feel like I remember this place. Perhaps we should discuss the mission, madam? I'm all ears. Reconnaissance. There's a man playing at the high table, Lorenzo Bonari, a business mogul of the nefarious type, undoubtedly. We believe him and Markov have reached a proposition, 32 million US dollars for a copious amount of weapons grade plutonium. Upon payment from Markov, we believe they'll be in exchange simultaneously. Markov will probably cash out around 40 to 50 million. You'll watch the game, monitor the pot, Follow and observe the transaction. If and when the money is wired, confirm it. What if he doesn't win? Markov won't be playing a game of luck. That amusement is safe for the rest of the table. Of course it is. No honor among thieves, madam. Just ambition. And if it goes sour, I don't think Markov's attending this for the open bar. Listen, the integrity of our entire division rests upon your espionage abilities. It's critical that you do not expose yourself in the event of a conflict. Really? I think our division supervisors would be thrilled to know I ended up at KIA. You doubt yourself? I'm doubted. Yes, but by incompetent people who don't deserve the power they hold. By seeking validation from those not worth your respect, you fail to see the validation you receive from those who are. You must start learning to recognize yourself for the hero on you are. Consider the number of people saved by you, by your species. 
the people of tomorrow need you. They need a date. So when I can tell that something is wrong, but you won't say anything, that's kind of where your whole quiet mystery thing sort of fails me. Huh? All right. I know something's wrong. What is it? This looks like a trap. It doesn't look like a trap. It is a trap. I know it's a trap. Look. All right. They're putting them in a box, okay? They have Belnari's men entering from this point, which turns out to be the only way in or out. Same way they came in. That's very unusual for an arms deal. Okay, so we don't strike from the back. Seems easy enough. Wait a minute, wait. Wait, what did you just say? What? We don't strike from the back. Okay, either way, can you stop doing that? Because every time we find something wrong with the plan, something goes wrong with the plan. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. It's elegance. It suits you, madam. I'm a bit more complex than just a pretty face. Thanks anyways, then. Of course, of course. But you won't need to be complex to impress these people. Their standards are a bit more shallow. Wealth, beauty, possessions. A staggering lack of humility these people have. Very opposite of you. Sounds like great company. Well, it depends on what you're looking for. Altruism? Not so much. But a night of futility? Very much so. I feel like you deserve a night like that. Look, I'm not sure what I deserve. And that's the problem. If you never know what you deserve, then you leave it in the hands of other people to decide for you. And sometimes, people are wrong about what you deserve. Well, people think I deserve different things, so... Or, some people know what you deserve, and others don't. What you think will depend on who you believe more. The demoralizing insults from the politicians, I think those stick. And they shape you. They program you to see yourself in the dreadful way that they see you. And that's how they win. You seem to know a lot about the way I perceive my world. Well, I know you're not a liar, so tell me, am I wrong? Do you like the dress? What? Do you like the dress? Does it really matter? This time it does. Is that coffee? Um, yeah. Did you make me any? Do you even like coffee? Well, no, but you still could have made me some. <laughs> Yeah, next time, I guess. I'm drawing again. Mm. I haven't done in a long time. Didn't really think there was a reason to, so I guess you kind of reprogram me. Thank you. <laughs> what are you thanking me for? I'm gonna make that choice. That's all you. If anything, thank yourself. Do you smoke when you're scared? Smoke when I'm confused. About tomorrow? About a lot of things, Liam. About a lot of things. I don't think I've ever seen you confused before. Oh. I'm always confused. I think everyone is, you know? Some people are just better at hiding it, I guess.
problem is when you stop looking for a solution, you know? Then your confusion just turns into fear, ignorance. Do you think we're gonna die? Yeah, someday. But tomorrow? It's very much a possibility. And dying, that doesn't scare you? It does. But the fear of death, you know, that's what keeps you alive. But you don't think twice about walking near the edge. Look, life you know, has several certainties, right? Death is one of them. So you either do something with your life or you do nothing, but you're gonna die regardless, Liam. So why not take a chance and try to do something meaningful? Help people, save people, like you do, every day. And I live my life like that. And if my death comes quicker as a result, then so be it, you know? That's how it is. And you think these people would die for me? Because I'm not so sure. But you're not them, are you, Liam? No, you're you. So why bring yourself down to someone's lower standard that does you no favors? I just don't want to be hated for no reason. That doesn't seem like too much to ask for, does it? Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Talking about dying, you're gonna die before tomorrow if you keep smoking these things. Come on. Seriously? Yep, come on. What do you think's out there? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. Well, do you think there's a god? Sure. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? No, I don't know. I don't know. But something had to make all that, right? Do you think we're alone? <laughs> no, no way. I wasn't talking about in space. Here? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I'm in a room with a thousand people. And I'm around these thousands of people, but none of them are really with me. They're just there. But then I think, well, they probably feel the same way. So now there's just a thousand people in a room, all of us feeling alone. We only interact with each other because we have to. No one goes through the same experiences as you and you don't go through theirs. So how can we really be with one another? Well, if everyone's alone, aren't we actually together? What do you mean? Well, if everyone's alone, isn't that loneliness the experience we're all sharing? You kind of find comfort in that, don't you? It gives you empathy. Are you lonely? Sometimes, sure. And me? Not right now. Right. This place is something, isn't it? 
Yeah, something. I didn't think you'd be here. Well, you should have more faith than that. But if you didn't want me here, I could always leave. The commingling of wealthy people simply on the account of their wealth is something I wouldn't mind missing. I don't suppose anyone would. I don't even think the people that are here want to be here. No? Not most of them, I'd believe. To them, it's not about enjoying themselves. It's about perception. How the world sees them, not about how they see themselves. So, they poison their souls and they live behind a shadow. Some are not like you. These people are nothing like me. Maybe not in their experiences or their pain, but perhaps their mentality. So all these people are in organized crime? Most of them, yeah. And no one recognizes Markov or this other guy? Belnari, he's protected. People know rumors, but no one would ever touch him. Markov, however, now that man's a ghost. Anyone who ever knew him and had a problem with him is surely dead. No, tonight, he's Ivan Alexei, wealthy banker, apparently a charming socialite. It's getting late, madam. The guy's gonna count his way to a win. What are we rushing for? When I said that Markov was playing a game of luck, I didn't mean he'd be cheating. He's just that much better than everybody else. Be careful, Esme. I'm always careful, doctor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If all the players would please take their seats. We shall begin the game. Very well. Tonight we shall be playing Texas Hold'em. The initial buy-in starts at $10 million. Each player is allotted one rebuy for $5 million. Upon voluntary exit or the conclusion of the game, players may exchange their chips for cash via wire transfer. We also have a bar or you can get drinks. We have a bartender that will bring them to you. Shall we begin? High card for dealer position. It's Mr. Matthews. Miss Daniela is the small blind for $4,000. Mr. Belnari, big blind for $8,000. Enjoy the game. Quite a suit. That it is. Did you wear it just for this? Yes. Could have a nicer cut. Yeah, well the mind makes the man, not his clothes. your hand. Stunning. All checks. Excuse me. Can you call the barman over? Of course, sir. Mr. Matthews folds. Miss Daniello also folds. Mr. Belnari. Raise. Mr. Belnari raises five million. Mr. Alexi. I'll call. Mr. Alexi calls Mr. Belnari's bet for five million. There's now 16 million in the pot. Gentlemen, show your hands. Full house. Kings and sixes. Mr. Belnari. 
It's not bad, Mr. Alexi. It's not bad at all. Excuse me, madam. Compliments of Mr. Alexi, a gentleman playing at the table. Kings and eights. Hire a full house. Mr. Belnari wins. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been playing for two hours. We shall take a short intermission. Play shall resume in 30 minutes. Did you not enjoy your drink? From the game room? No, yeah, that was kind of you, but I'm on a diet, so I probably shouldn't be drinking that. <laughs> I'm sure you can come up with a better excuse than that. Why did you ask them to send me that, if you don't mind me asking? Because you look like you don't want to be here. And neither do I, so compliments of shared convictions. You don't want to be here? And why is that? Did you come from money? No. Neither did I. But most people at this party, they did. They throw and attend these parties. They drive expensive cars. They wear the most expensive clothes, all in an effort to project an image. They act as if they pity those who can't afford to enjoy the same spoils as them. But they don't care. They don't even care about each other, just themselves. Don't you think you're assuming a bit, maybe? Maybe, yeah. But when I walked in, there was a sign at the door. Maybe you saw it too. Reading that sign told me everything I needed to know about this party and the people happily attending it. The belief that they are superior, that above everything, that's what bothers me the most. Then why come? Why spend $10 million on a game? You don't seem any more altruistic than the rest of the party. That's fair. I'm working on a project for the Dagan community. A project that'll open doors and grant opportunities that are long overdue for those people. Opportunities that are constantly and continuously denied and eradicated by the same people I share that table with. But humanitarian efforts? They require investments, my friend. And these people, they don't want to invest. They want to gamble. Well, I just watched you lose seven million dollars, so you might want to play a little better. Well, I play the long game. Give people their wins early. Fuel their ego. That overconfidence turns into a false sense of security. Then, in later rounds, when the stakes are higher, they bet heavier. I'm sure you can figure out the rest. I'm a simple man, miss. Everybody wants to win the game. I just want to make the game better. Anyways, it was nice talking to you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Gentlemen, we are now entering our final round. There will be no option for a buy-in. The big blind is set at two million. Good luck. It's been a bit of a long night for you, hasn't it? Not nearly long enough. Check. Both players check. Raise. Mr. Belnari raises 17 million. Mr. Alexi? I think I'll raise two. Mr. Alexi also raises. 
26 million. There's now 59 million in the pot. All in. 47 million. Mr. Belnari goes all in with 47 million. 106 million dollars in the pot. This is where fables are made, Mr. Alexi. Fables? Yeah. Well, I love a good story. All in. Mr. Alexi, all in to call at 47 million. There is now 153 million dollars in the pot. Gentlemen, please show your hands. Queens and aces, full house. Mr. Alexi? can't prove fables. They're nothing but legends. A pair of nines. Four of a kind. Mr. Alexi wins. Thank you, sir. Where's your bracelet? What? The one you always wear. Oh uh, yeah, I gave it away. You gave it away? Someone special? Yeah, definitely. They needed some luck? No. I don't think so. You don't either. You got me. Alright, I think I'm gonna head that way. Yeah. It's not a good idea, Liam. Well, I don't need you to protect me. Think so. That wasn't part of your plan. You were supposed to walk at 50. You were supposed to win. You're gonna come in here and mock me and think we can shake hands over a deal? Yeah. Well, the price for your plutonium has changed. 153 million. 153 million? Should've walked away. They say the price has changed. Your pure weapons grade plutonium. I should have walked away. Wow. You must feel really powerful right now. I don't feel anything. I know what I am. How very confident of you. Still no wire. Perhaps your man isn't as wealthy as he thinks he is. You worry too much about money. I'm gonna count to five. I wasn't sure you knew how. And you're gonna wire the money. One. If you don't have the money, you're wasting our time. Two. Three.
is a nice gun. But you've taken shit care of it. People from your world never cease to amaze me. You buy the finest things. And show no appreciation for them. I'm not going to pay you for the plutonium. And your men are going to die. All of them. I was going to pay you for the plutonium. I was. And I was going to have my men spare yours. But then I realized. You're exactly the kind of person I'm trying to eradicate. Next one's in her head. You're a good man. Just on the wrong end. wrong with you? Are you mad? You just let them walk away with the nuclear weapon. Technically it's not a nuclear weapon yet, but... What did I say? I said I didn't need you to protect me. Yeah, and I said going that way was a bad idea, so I guess we're both not listening to each other. I'm sorry I didn't let them shoot you, Liam. What is your deal? Why the fuck do you care so much? Fuck, man. What? You want to help me? Just forget about me. I'm not Liam, human. Liam, I don't care. I don't. You're real, you're fake, you're made in a lab, but wow, what difference does that make? You're real to me. You're looking right at me. You, you really think I was gonna let them shoot you over the Secretary of Defense's opinion? What is wrong with you? Hey, look at me, look at me. Yeah, they got away. But you're not dead, and you know what? To me, keeping you alive is pretty important. You seem to have a lot of interest in what I do, don't you? Uh-oh. Finding yourself in places you don't belong is how you meet God. And I am the man who sends people to God. Oh. You think I wouldn't do that to you? With all the men I've cut? killed, sent straight to hell. Terrible men, nonetheless. And all men who were averse to my cause. <laughs> you know, it is a funny world we live in. I mean, here I am, fighting the very people I fight for. That is irony, my friend. <laughs> but just know, the people you work for, They use you. You're a means to an end. You give them the benefit of the doubt, and there will be no congratulations, no apologies, no amends. You have a sister 
don't you? <laughs> Adopted, of course. A street rat. Don't talk about my sister. You gave what little money you had to keep clothes on her back and food in her mouth. You made sure she stayed in school. You saved her life. Do you think they'll let you see her again? A Dagon? Raising a human? <laughs> I don't think our world is ready for that. But it should be. And I'm going to be the one to make it happen. Sometimes, dramatic examples are necessary to shift the progress of humanity forward. Oh really? Because murdering people to get what you want is something you really consider a justified method to advance society. How is that any different from what the government does? That's what you do. You're paid to kill people. Every time you put a bullet in a man's head, you're pushing another man's agenda that much farther down the line. So don't sit there and pretend like me and you don't practice the same fucking thing. These people you work for are shit, and you know that. They don't deserve you or your help. And acting against your own self-interest, as honorable as it is, won't help you. Really? So I should stop listening to one group of people so I can start listening to you, a man with an inflated sense of self-importance. I don't live in a world of ultimatums that's ignorant. Yeah, so some humans are shit. I know that better than most, but a lot of them aren't. If I'm gonna write off an entire group of people because of some flawed individuals, I'm no different than them. All right, I admire optimism. There's not a lot of room for it in our world. You have a heart that's beautiful, truthfully. <laughs> but if you ever talk to me like that again, I will slit your fucking throat and stand over your body as the life pours out of you and you slowly fade into the afterlife. I've sent many men to God. Don't come looking for me again. <laughs> Good night, madam. All right, so let's do a little recap. You managed to let viciously dangerous international terrorists walk away with enough plutonium to blow up Manhattan. One of your assets got injured, and the other one exposes himself in an operation where they weren't even supposed to converse with the target. I mean, you couldn't even write about this shit, man. It's nice to see you too, man. You doing all right? Yeah, I'm getting shot at a lot, but... Other than that, I'm pretty good, yeah. Some things never change. No. No, they don't. Well, uh, what are you going to tell Daniel Lewis? Yeah, I'm going to tell him the whole thing was your fault. <laughs> You're an idiot. I know you have a plan. What is it? Well, it's probably not legal. Probably not legal. What are the odds you can give me someone's bank statements? Oh, fuck. If you think about history, how it gets spun, it's like thousands and thousands of stories. But at some point, you only know what you know, and what you've been told. Everybody has a truth, but it's like only a few become the truth, you know? Everybody else's is just lost. There's no such thing as equality in this world. That's a made-up thing. You look as far back as you can, and all you'll find is a victor. I know you wonder what I think about you. You think it's probably not good, but <laughs> honestly, Daniel, I just feel sorry for you. Seriously. Why? Because this power you have, man, it's killing you. I see it. You'll shred every bit of integrity you ever had to get more of it, and you lose yourself. You lose your humanity. 
Don't you see the irony and all that? It's easy to write me off as the bad guy, I know. Every truth's got one, right? But imagine you have a family. A family whose lineage stretches back to the dawn of civilization. Thousands of years, generations after generations, bleeding and dying to make a home right here on this planet. And then one day, a whole new group of entities come, not made by nature, and who, for no reason needed to exist at all, are planted right in society. All of a sudden, they take your job, your food, they become the new you. Why should I help them? Why should I assist in my own obsolescence? Why should I support them? And maybe that's how it had to be. Maybe they were inevitable, I, I don't know. But if they weren't self-aware, what are we talking about, Daniel? What are they, property? You wanna go down that road with it? You gotta stop looking at them as a problem and start realizing that they were a solution. Well, who do you care more about, them? Or this program, your job? Because this guy is still out there. Yeah, he is. And why he seems to know what we're going to do before we do it, I don't understand, but I'd like to. Daniel, if there's something you're not telling me, now is the time. He's a smart guy. Yeah, he's not that smart. Maybe you're not the right guy for the job. <laughs> Maybe we both aren't. Tell that to my constituents. You know, if this whole thing goes south, that's on you, not me. That's what power really is. Insulation. Oh, and by the way, that AI unit, we're taking custody of her sister. What? No, no, no. We had an arrangement. I guess we did. You're gonna do that to that woman. Oh my god, that is not a woman. That is a goddamn AI unit. Get that through your fucking head! So let me get this straight. We do the jobs no one else can do. For you. No one else. And you're not gonna give them their lives back. That's not how it's gonna be. No, it's not how it's gonna be, okay. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're gonna find this man, and the state will take custody no, of that no, girl. No, 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 We had an agreement. And now that agreement is up in smoke. You fuck people! We had a deal, you and I. And maybe you don't remember, but I do. I know what you're doing, Daniel. It's clear as day. Chalk it up as one of humanity's flaws, I don't know. Sign the papers. Do the right thing for once. Are you drawing again? Something to just make the time pass, I guess. It's a little more than something to make the time pass for you. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Do you remember much, like right after installation? I don't really think we're programmed to, Liam. I do. I have a memory of us at a river just north of Cambridge. Before all of this, before Nest. When we used to see you would throw the rocks further into the channel, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I always beat you. Fuck off. <laughs> you forget about it if you don't think about it. I like those memories. They make me feel like I was something before all of this. Like I was someone. But I am someone. I live, I think, I breathe. I'm here, you know? What I do matters and what happens to me matters. At least to some people. Everything we've gone through, all it took was a memory for me to realize that. Well. Maybe sometimes it's not about finding who you are. It's about remembering who you used to be. There are people that care about you, Liam. 
Remember what I said back in Washington about the person who made us not caring? I think I was wrong. I think whoever made us is probably proud of us. In five years, look at how far we've come. How could anyone be disappointed in that? How could anyone ever be disappointed in that? I think you're right, Liam. Well, you better hope I'm right. Because if not, we're fucked. You still mad he didn't let you die? I just don't want to see good people lose their lives over ill-advised heroics. Especially if they're for me. But if it were the other way around, there's no way I would have let them kill him. I know. I know. But no one good has died yet. Including you. You look a bit tired. It's all here. Lewis received a wire transfer to an offshore account three days before the Adarmo siege and three days before the weapons deal. Two split payments, $3 million each. Right here is the IP address that the wire was sent from. He was dirty. You probably already knew that, huh? It wasn't legal, what we did, you know. And I suspect whatever you have coming next isn't either. Do you think we're crossing a line? We're crossing a line. What line is that exactly? Was it our own people selling us out to terrorists or a woman getting denied guardian rights because of a politician's inferiority complex? You don't think I have those two things cross some lines? James, we are on our fucking own. We're talking about people's lives here, man. What, what do you want to do, nothing? C come on. You see the horizon, don't you? I think it goes on forever, but you know it doesn't. Well, this didn't have to be in my life, but you make a choice, you stick with it, right? Good and the bad. Yeah. Take care, James, all right? Hey. You know they got a name for people like you. Humans that support the cause. A column. I can't sleep. I know what Lewis said, but honestly, I'm really not surprised. I knew it wouldn't be easy with her. I always knew someone was gonna keep me from her, try to take her away from me. But I guess we can stop these people. Maybe they'll let me see her again. But that's not why I'm doing this. Because there are a million other kids out there, just like her, who didn't have anyone. 
their whole lives ahead of them. I always thought I was protecting my sister, but who's gonna protect them? I just wanted to say thank you for what you did. You could add a life beyond all this. So no matter what happens, to you, I just wanted you to know that. You don't have to thank me for that, Esme. I did what I was supposed to do, and a component of doing something you're supposed to do is that it doesn't want to thank you after. It's kind of the whole point. You know what I mean. Yeah, I think I do know what you mean, but I don't know if you know what you mean. You don't owe anybody anything, Esme. People owe you. And as for my life, it's been an honor. You, Liam, the doctor, an honor. Wouldn't have had it any other way, and I mean that. Do you? Yeah, I do. These are bad for yeah, you. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. But it's okay. It's my last one. I don't need them anymore. Why? Clarity. You know, I was not a violent man before this. Never. Well, circumstances tend to change people. Do they? No point in history has civilization ever been free of conflict. Many people became what they never imagined. You are not unique. Well, we're creatures of habit, aren't we? Humans. Everything we do is done in self-interest. Really? So what are you doing right now? Tell me. Do you really believe all humans are shit? Or are you just surrounded by the ones that are? Do you remember what I said? A good man on the wrong end can lose who made him good in the first place. And for you, my friend, that's perspective. You're a smart man. And one thing every smart man knows, he always has more to learn. Downfall of every man is his own ignorance, right? Yes, it is. You cannot let what happened to the men who lead you destroy your own wisdom. You know, I heard there was a school not far from here that got an anonymous donation for $32 million. You wouldn't have had anything to do with that, would you? We're creatures of habit, aren't we? Who'd you sell it to? To your people. Corruption's a sad thing, isn't it? Markov never wanted the plutonium. He thought Lorenzo was a bad man, and he was. So we wanted him gone and his business fractured. Yeah, but now what you did won't even matter. Won't it? If you had the opportunity to help someone, even for just a moment, would you not? I think you would. I think that's what you've been doing the whole time. St. Mart's Bay. He's gonna poison the water supply. The water supply. I 
took the risk helping this man, because I had faith his plan would not work. Why? Because I knew you were you. Because you're a good man. You and me both, Maxie. Hello, brother. Why has it always been like this? You and James honorably fighting for dishonorable people. I don't get it. I don't. And now those two fight as well. Maybe they believe that the world is changing, that the world will change on its own. But it won't. When has that ever happened? Some things are just inevitable, my friend. There's just no other way. And if there was another way, I would have done that. And you know that. I can't take it anymore. The greed, the corruption, everything. It has to end, brother. And here's another beautiful soul just lost. Esme, is it? Do you even know what that name means? It means loved. I bet he never told you, did he? You never believed, did you, brother? James and I. We were the only ones who saw you for what you really were. The man who gave the world its greatest gift. This, this is destiny. It's not yours, it's not mine, and it's not fucking hers. It's ours. And the thing about destiny, it can't be stopped. <laughs> not even by you. Goodbye, brother. What was he, what was he talking about? I've known you a long time, Esmond. Longer than you can remember. I guess everyone had it wrong, didn't they? It's a danger in life, thinking you know what you don't. You and Liam, you both do things no one else would do, and you do them for everybody but yourselves. Shit, I think that makes you a bit more human than all of us, don't you think? That, that C4 doesn't have a detonator. You'd have to do it manually. No. No, no, no. Where are you going? Same place I've always gone. Wherever I'm needed. Compassion makes us human, Esme. Doesn't matter how you're made. <laughs> 